You are tuned in to another edition of Americana Music Profiles, brought to you by Americana Rhythm Music Magazine and AmericanaMusicMagazine.com. I'm your host, Greg Tutwiler. Let's jump right in to the next exciting interview. South Carolina is home for the Jake Bartley Band, who's on a mission to create fresh, soulful, roots-oriented music. I caught up with Jake as they were traveling back from Daytona Beach's Bikers Week, where they just opened up for David Allen Co. Life on the Road and their current CD, Brotherhood, is the topic of our conversations here on this edition of Americana Music Profiles. So hi, Jake. Welcome to the podcast. I hear you've been hanging out with David Allen Co. David's a legend, man. It's always cool. We actually, um, he was... Uh... He was kind of kicking around on one of those scooters, and they got him unstuck out of the sand a second ago, so I get to put that on my bucket list. <laughs> That's cool. That's <laughs> awesome. Help David Allen Coe get out of the mud. Yeah, right. That, that, you know what? That sounds like a, that sounds like there's a song in that. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, man. I was looking over the notes here, and and um, uh, you guys have been at this quite a bit, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, have. Uh, I have. Um, I've been playing music since uh, professionally since I was about fifteen. Uh, my old man was a um, he was an entertainer long before I was born. You know, since like he was eighteen. So I grew up in a musical family, and uh, I I, uh, I was in doctors watching my old man on stage. So I got a lot of practice before I was ever on stage. Yeah, for sure. So did did you? Um, when did this become a professional pursuit for you? Um. Well, let's see. I like it. like I said, you know, the the typical kind of garage band when I was a teenager, and and uh, got the biggest chance we could and turned them up as loud as they go. Right. And uh, it was pretty much <laughs> pretty much awful. But um, I think I I really knew I wanted to do it for a profession when I was and at seventeen, eighteen. I decided it was it was go time, man. So I, I kind of you know lost the distractions of everything else and went straight after music. Yeah. Okay. So, how long has the this this configuration of the Jake Bartley band been together? Um, the the exact configuration is about a year now. Um, we've uh, just because the pieces we've added and and um, you know, guys have uh, come around and gone again. And uh, but we've been the Jake Bartley band for four or five years now, I think. Okay, and um, uh album new album or, or are you touring with one that's been out for a while what what's the uh what's the state of yeah, your recording no, we, um, we we just released the album um it, it technically released in november of last year okay um we had an, uh, i think we had an ep before that and a single before that so we've been kind of but we you know this this album is the first one that's been on a label um on uh, bonfire records so yeah we're definitely touring on this album right now but you know always constantly writing and recording and stuff like that. So is this the first album for you guys is the Jake Bartley band or just the first one with Bonfire? Uh this is this is the first full length album we've done like so we did an E P before and we and it was the Jake Bartley band. Uh we did, I think it was four songs on the E P. Um but this is the first album on Bonfire Records. Okay. Okay. And um and you said you guys have been together about four years. what was what was your music pursuit leading up to that? Same, same kind of style, uh, different band than this, or where? Where? What brought this band together? Um, yeah, it was. I mean, it was totally different style from it. Um, I was I was in a a touring band called the Swing Medallions from my hometown in Greenwood, South Carolina, and um, I was a, a legacy in that band. It's my dad, and like I said, I, he was in the band way before I was born, but he was a singing Zion when he was 18, uh-huh. and uh, he went all in the 80s, and um, I played, he, was, he, he left that band and started his own, and I played that band, and then um, I was like 22, somewhere around that area, I, uh, I joined the and I played the band for about eight years, and I left, and the intention of leaving was that um, uh, my wife and I had seven kids, and uh, we had kid number five on the way and uh, I told the guys in the man, man I gotta I gotta get off the road you know, it's, you know I just need to be around the house for and uh, I was like cool man yeah and um, I got off the road and the Drake Bartley band kind of started by accident and now we 
<laughs> I'm only read about twice as much as I was there. Oh my gosh! Okay. A bit of a back time. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you guys are, are so this is a full time thing then for the Jake Bartley band. It is. Yeah, it is. What was supposed to be a weekly project turned into a full time touring band. So. And it's funny how things work out. You know? Yeah. Right. <laughs> And, and the 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 other guys in the band have have all uh, been doing other things leading up to this as well. I'm sure, right? Yeah, yeah for sure. Everybody's been in bands previously. Um, our guitar player played with uh, um, Randy Coolers for a lot of years. Um, he he toured with Randy Coolers all over the country. Uh, he played with Dirk Bentley's band. Okay. Um, and he recorded with Dolly Parton, so he's. He's probably out of all of us the uh, the most seasoned in this side of the business. Um, okay. Our bass player Matt, he's been in several bands leading up to this. Um, we've all kind of—it's funny everybody cut their teeth on different stuff, and I think it kind of shows in our music. Yeah. I tell everybody that like, when you get your style from, and I'm like, well, I, I grew up playing R and B. Matt grew up playing kind of jam rock stuff, and Andrew grew up playing country. Um, and uh, the other guys in the band, obviously, they. Like I said, they have uh, different backgrounds as well. So it, it's just crazy to see how you throw it on a melting pot and see what comes out. Yeah, sure, sure. And and did I, I read correctly that uh, your your first single, you actually worked with uh, Vince Gill, brought the big guns out early, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. We, we started at the top, and I was like, oh, God, there's no way to get it down from here, right? <laughs> no, uh, how, did yeah, that, we, how did that come to be for you? We got the, um, the chance to play... At Cincinnati's farm, um, was it last year? We played it two, two years ago. We played at their farm, and, farm, and um, they for an engagement party. And uh, Vince was there, and we got to meet him. We got to hang out with him, and they were just amazing people. His niece was getting married, but um, it was kind of kind of one of those crazy, you know, guy who knows a guy things. But um, they hired the band to come play for the party. Went up and did a thing. We got to meet him, and it was super cool. And, and uh, everything went so well. They said, "Would you like to come back and play for the wedding reception?" We're like, "Well, let me think about it." Yes. <laughs> so we uh, we went back up there, and the second time we went up, you know, we we felt like we'd established a um, a real connection with Vince and Amy. They were just such cool people. I mean, we sat there and talked to them for like an hour the first time. So we came back up, and we're sitting there rapping with them again. And um, we said, "Hey, look, Vince, you know, we we got an album coming out." Would you be interested in, in guest starring on it? And I mean, without hesitation, he's like, "Yeah, sure, man. I'll play on the album." And he's, a, he's the epitome of a class act. Yeah, he yeah, really is. Yeah, yeah, that, that's cool. And are you getting some yeah, pretty good action with that song already? Yeah, absolutely, man. It's it, just having his name on it really, really helped, and it's gotten pushed. It's been on um, Cowboys Minions page on Facebook and um, uh, Double Double Country. <laughs> Country Rebel, and um, that's why we got to do an interview on WSN 650 where we got to talk about it and that kind of stuff, and, and uh, they actually did it in their rotation. Yeah, yeah that's sweet. So did, did he help collaborate uh, songwriting-wise on the song, too, or did you just bring him in for the vocals? We we just started on the vocals. I, I wrote the song um, several years ago, actually, and this is the, technically the third incarnation of that song because um, that particular song... Um, you know, I've kind of got in conversations with people about the meaning of the song, and uh, initially I feel like it feels like a different situation, but it's, you know, and it, honestly, it's just my heritage, uh-huh. um, where that song came from, and um, it's kind of about the, the troubles of being an outsider, and like I said, so I wrote the song several years ago, and uh, not thinking that it was going to be anything that anybody heard but me and the people I played, played it around, yeah. you know, the campfire and stuff like that, yeah. but um, I guess it was it was enough that people can make it and, and they can spin the pretty hard so it's done pretty well for us, man. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's cool. So the yeah. we you mentioned earlier a little bit about the the style and uh, I I guess kind of fitting into the Americana roots kind of classification is that is that fair is that where you see you guys where you see yourself? Yeah, I you know I really have fallen in love with the term Americana. Yeah. Um, it's, it's such a broad genre that um, you're, not, you're not handcuffed to any one style, really, with Americana. You know, as long as you don't, um, I mean, it's, it can be country, you can be rock, you can be soul, um, which 
like I said, that really does well for for us because of background. When we get in the studio and we write and record, all these different directions kind of pop up, and um, and they you know they they rear their ugly head recording, and it all. I mean, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm I would say it's worked out well. You know, but, uh, I'm probably biased, but I really like the way it comes around. Um, so I think Americana is probably the perfect fit for us. Yeah, we are so. You know, our, our spec in the Super Bowl. Every time we play a show, that's that's almost always um, the the same thing. People that play. Oh my gosh, man! Y'all play, y'all play everything. You play punk and rock and old soul and, and country new stuff. Um, you know, it's, I guess our our different backgrounds would shine through in our songs. Yeah, yeah. Where do you find your your best audiences? What what's the what kind of venues do you feel like are working for you the best? Um. It's it's funny because it's it's uh, changed up for me. Um, when I was um, when I was coming up, it was all about the the, the, the party crowd. You know, keep everybody on the feet, keep everybody dancing. Right. Um, but I've I've found this this romance in a sit down audience. Yeah. Um, you know, like a uh, like your your um, theater type places. Yeah. Stuff like that. Sure. Uh-huh. It's just you. Uh, you know, you still have your your, your up tempo songs, you still get the energy out there, but um, you, you really get to connect with people on, right. uh, on a musical level, and that's just something that's kind of foreign to me. I'm, I'm still learning about it, but it's definitely something that's it's this new cool mistake for me that I get to I get to try out every once in a while. It's, it kind of takes the music to a a more intimate level. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Do you, do you um, when you do those shows? Are you doing all or predominantly original material? No, I mean we're we're still at the point now um, because we're touring on one album. Um, we definitely, I mean, you know, sometimes you go places, and uh, man, you play Nashville, you play four hours straight. Yeah, <laughs> and we just don't have four hours of original music. So I mean, we definitely, we definitely still splash in covers. But the thing that I love most about our covers is that we hardly ever play something that's like Radio. Okay. Um, yeah. If if we do a cover, you know, we definitely put our own splash on it. Well, audiences seem to really. Uh, dig it when you pull out an old classic and mix it in with your stuff. I think it kind of oh, keeps the familiarity it, there for them. Yeah, yeah. If you can pull out the right one, you're you're a hero. You know. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Especially if you can pull it off in your own special way and, and own it. You know, that's cool. Yeah. So are are yeah, all I mean, of the guys in the a dirty song? And y- yeah. Are, are all the guys in the band songwriters? Is, is it mostly your material when you guys do original stuff, or how, how do you guys get to that point? No, yeah, we we uh, definitely collaborate on the writing. Um, as a matter of fact, our last trip to Nashville, we um, we took a lot of gear with us and and basically set up a small studio in the house, and uh, we wrote and recorded in the house while we were there. And uh, it's, it's like you know, somebody will come up with an idea. Somebody else be like, "Go try this." Somebody else be like, "Set this." You know, it's it's definitely a group effort on our writing. I mean, there there are definitely the songs that come in that's you know, so and so wrote it, and we all learned it exactly like that, or so you know, this way. But a lot of the time, it is it's a, a collaborative idea. Yeah. Okay. And, and you guys are a South Carolina based band. Do I have that right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so what what's being yeah, but, on the road look like? Are you guys uh, weekend warrior kind of thing, or when you you're out, do you have kind of these stretches of tours? And where where is it taking you? Yeah, it, it looks like gas stations and McDonald's. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we um we're uh, if if I had to describe it, I would say we're a pull yourself up by your best man. I mean, we've um, we've put off the ground up. Uh, we've, I mean, we've definitely had a couple on the way, uh-huh. but uh, we're, we're still at the point now, um, I mean, the, the record label helps us out now, but the record label is not around, I mean, we've only been on the label for the past year, okay. right? Yeah. We've been on the past year, so, you know, it's, it's, it's actually funny uh, getting help from people now, it's like, uh, you know, it's, this stuff comes in, oh my gosh, dude, that, that could have been happening all along, but we definitely, um, we all hustle, man, we we book shows. Uh, we do our, you know, as of as of the at the moment, we're handling all our tour stuff. Okay. Um, but yeah, we're we're kind of we're kind of house contained for the moment um, with, with the help from the label and and some 
uh, our, our publishing and stuff like that. Are you guys heading into 